Today on African Woman 2.0, we receive the award-winning founder of the Christie Brown luxury fashion brand, Aisha Ayensu. In 2008, the Ghanaian fashion designer started her company from the ground up. 14 years later, Christy Brown has become an internationally recognized brand based in Accra, Ghana. Some of her celebrity clients include Beyonce, Tina Knowles, and Alicia Keys. Aisha Yensu is the founder and creative director of the internationally acclaimed luxury fashion label, Christy Brown. Named after another inspiring female, her grandmother, Christy Brown is a luxury ready-to-wear brand designed for the woman to feel confident and be the truest version of herself. Aisha holds a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from the University of Ghana, Legon, and embarked on the journey to creating Christy Brown in her final year. She had her training in fashion from Joyce Ababio College of Creative Design. With years of experience in the industry spanning over a decade, Christy Brown has garnered global coverage from CNN to the pages of Harper's Bazaar, Vogue Italia, and many more. She has clothed many high-profile women and many celebrities, including Alicia Keys, Kelly Rowland, and costumes for Beyonce's Mrs. Carter Tour. Aisha is an influential voice in the fashion industry. In 2016, she was listed as one of Forbes' most promising entrepreneurs. She also won the African Designer of the Year at the Glitz Style Award two consecutive years, 2018 and 2019. She is married to Michael Ayensu, and the couple has three children. Hello, Aisha. Hello, Isata. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on our African Women 2.0 show today with us. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I know we've been <laughs> planning this for long. For a long, long time. <laughs> Finally. Yes. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Yes, and we're Thanks happy to have you. Thank it's you. an honor, actually. Uh... <laughs> so, Aisha, mm -hmm. we know the brand Christy Brown, but who is the person behind it? Who is yeah. Aisha Ayensu? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever asked that. But, um, <laughs> So, yes, I'm Aisha Ayensu, mm -hmm. and I am the founder and creative director of the brand, Christy mm -hmm. Brown. Mm -hmm. um, who am I? Yes, <laughs> I'm a mother a of three question. young kids, yeah. um, happily married mm -hmm. um, to Michael Ayensu. We mm -hmm. live in Ghana, in Accra. Mm -hmm. um, I, I grew up in Accra. I was raised in Accra mm -hmm. from a small family. We're just two kids, my brother and mm -hmm. I. So, um, but yes, I had all my, my formative years were in Accra. Um, I did secondary school there and I did university in mm -hmm. Accra, but I studied psychology. Okay. So everyone asks yeah. about fashion. <laughs> and my background is actually in psychology. Mm -hmm. And in my final year, I decided to start this brand mm -hmm. because it, one, I was passionate about fashion, mm -hmm. but I was also passionate about the continent on the rise because mm -hmm. at the time it was 2008 yes, and everyone yes. was talking about Africa rising. Yes, there was yes. that sentiment and yes, I needed absolutely. to be a part of that, yeah. you know, the Pan-Africanist in me. So yeah. that's how the brand started. Yeah. But so question for you, because at the time you said 2008. So, mm -hmm. but had you even thought about going into fashion before that or no? Like, did you... Uh, because you mentioned yes. you mentioned that your your grandmother was a seamstress, right? Yes. So, but did you ever think that you would make fashion make, a career? A career, probably not in my in my okay. earlier years. Okay. So, mm -hmm. backtracking, Christy Brown is actually my grandmother's mm -hmm. name. So, like you know, she mm -hmm. was a seamstress all her life. Mm -hmm. Never had anything glamorous. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, we lived in in my grandmother's house till maybe I was about eight. Okay. And I always like, you know, we, we would always be threading her, her <laughs> sometimes because her eyesight would be funny and she would say, oh, come thread my machine for me. So I grew up around that and piece mm -hmm. of fabric, you cut it up, you mm -hmm. use it for one thing or the other. Mm -hmm. And, but I still didn't think of it as a career, right? Mm -hmm. And then growing up, at some point I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, it's in that period, in that like final year of uni when everybody starts thinking, okay, what am I going to do? Yes. And I knew I wasn't going to work in fashion, yes. but I did feel that I wanted to see African women represented differently, right? Mm -hmm. The successful, mm -hmm. um, well-traveled, well-exposed mm -hmm. African woman. I, I wanted her to have something that 
it would allow her to embrace her culture, mm -hmm. but also fits into her modern lifestyle. Exactly. You know, so that right. you know that also yeah. propelled starting the brand. But it's, if you ask me if I knew as a child, <laughs> I always wanted to be a designer. No, but I'd always love fashion. You always yeah, love fashion. Always that, that's good enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> so I often get asked by by some of our younger viewers, right. if you have to travel or study abroad to become successful. I don't think. So. You don't think so, I but don't. you don't think so because you're a prime because example. I'm a prime example. Yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. I would only go on holidays mm -hmm. when we're younger. Yes. Right? I do believe that the eye must travel, mm -hmm. um, and you need, you need to see things. You need to, yes, you, absolutely. to be exposed to to things. Any chance that one gets, but to say that oh, you you should have studied abroad to be a mm -hmm. success, I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really, it's that. It is the passion, it's the dedication to that cause, and just even allowing yourself to dream, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. dare yourself mm -hmm. to dream and dream bigger of, of achieving, you know, great success, I think right. is a good start. Yeah. Right, because, but you, you did say something that's important. You said exactly. you still need that exposure, right? Oh, yeah. The exposure. So the exposure <laughs> is a little bit of travel. Or do you think with, with social media today, you kind of get that exposure? Or it, it, living, media, it, living is different, right? Living the experience. Reading, is, reading, yeah, reading, reading, reading. Reading, it really reading, helps. Absolutely. And when, when I was younger, funny enough, I, I had this book like mm -hmm. on France or like mm -hmm. France. And it's through that book, I, like, I knew about the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. And I just, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's one of those mm -hmm. things where mm -hmm. people underestimate mm -hmm. it. But it, that's also a certain level yes, of exposure. Yes, Not yes. everyone gets a chance to go on holiday or that's travel. True. That's but true. I think it's just reading and being curious enough. Like, mm -hmm. And now, like you said, social media just absolutely. connects the world. world so absolutely. you can't say, oh, I wasn't aware. Okay. Yes, exactly. And imagine when Christy Brown started, there was no Instagram and yeah, no, no social was... media. It wasn't, it wasn't like this. Yeah, so it wasn't like anyone's this. Starting a business yeah. in these times, the resources are everywhere That's and true. inspiration is everywhere. So you use a lot of wax. Mm -hmm. So despite all these African accents that you have in your clothing line, you still get a lot of, you know, uh, international wear. I mean, people buy your clothing from yeah. all around the world yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. how do you explain that shift? It's, um, so first of all, and I say we're going through, there's another wave happening. Mm -hmm. That 2008 period when mm -hmm. the brand started was the first one, mm -hmm. that Africa rising mm -hmm. period. Yes, yes. And, and so again, for a brand like Christy Brown, my, my, my goal was that let's use our traditional African elements mm -hmm. and like um, wax prints mm -hmm. and certain weaves mm -hmm. to create pieces that had global appeal. Mm -hmm. So it was the, the aim from the right, start. Right. So now that was quite new. To the game. It was, but then yes. other brands came up after that and other brands caught on to the fact that oh we could do it this way let me interpret mm -hmm. my Africa differently or in my way you know so I feel that you know brands have evolved they've grown they've you know gone through so, like a, a journey of sorts mm -hmm. a, re, a, a rebirth with, with Absolutely. a more global focus mm -hmm. where you are you you realize that your role is actually you're presenting your culture to the world mm -hmm. and in the best light possible and i think the world also responded to that because right. it's beautiful it's wearable yeah. it's um you know the, it sits very well in their closets mm -hmm. i think so it's the think wearable part too yes. because you know our african clothing yeah. is not sometimes very sometimes it can be <laughs> Be a little old the rappers, you know the rappers that like, come oh, off. Yes. So how they exactly? If we were to stick to true traditional um, African garments, we don't even be, wear that anymore. We don't even wear. Don't it, even, it, it, yeah. You know, it doesn't fit our lifestyles exactly. anymore. Exactly. So what's interesting is what we've done with it. So mm -hmm. we've kept some silhouettes. We've mm -hmm. kept like a certain flow, mm -hmm. but then we've made it modern and super wearable. So I think that's why it's mm -hmm. it's it's caught on the way it has. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so do you also use, do you also use, um, because I know you use a lot of wax, but do you also yeah, use love, like your kente, your other traditional yeah. fabrics? I as do. Well? I'm always looking for something mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, we had a collection where we just, we had special kente, you know, woven for us mm -hmm. it's, it's it's always that right mm -hmm. it's, it's always how do we put our spin on what is you know a tradition you know but wax print i love wax not just not because i think oh this is african no it's not yeah. even about that it's i love print and mm -hmm. i love just the technique and the layering of it so you might find that there are so many different you know wax print companies oh. but it's for me it's it's the print speaks to me 
right? Mm. And so is the technique, it's just how it's layers and layers of patterns. That's what I love about mm. wax print. So you'd always find some element somewhere mm. on our mm -hmm. pieces. Yeah. Because you know some people say wax is not African, right? Yes. Well, and there's technically whole, it's not. Like, yes. <laughs> but that's another argument. debate. <laughs> that's a, there's a whole debate around that. Yes. But I always stress that I, I still love the mix of it prints is and color. It I is love beautiful. it. It is beautiful. And, and I think we've been, we've, we've really, it's yeah, in our lives it's now. In our we lifestyle. just, I mean, and, I think. Yeah. And whether we like it or not, it's actually influenced. Even the prints are influenced by how we see color right. and how we, Absolutely. you know, um, interplay very patterns. True. So it's very, very a part true. of us. Yes, yeah. Very true. Yes. So when you first started your brand, yeah. did you expect it to be received uh, this well? I mean, I didn't. I, <laughs> I mean, I wanted it. <laughs> I, I wanted, wanted it to be received well, but I, I don't even think at the time I knew the extent to which it could go. And even now, I still think that like the possibilities are endless. Yes. But imagine you're a 21 year old or so mm -hmm. starting this brand. Mm -hmm. I knew I wanted to, to, mm -hmm. to, you know, birth a global brand, but I don't even think at the time I knew the magnitude exactly. of that dream. But right. yes. Right. So what would what was what would you call, what would you say was your first realization that oh my god my brand Something's is actually happening. yeah right I'm, <laughs> Something I'm, happening I'm here. going somewhere <laughs> i'm going somewhere with this um do you know what it has to be very early on mm -hmm. um in 2009 mm -hmm. so i'd launched in 2008 right. 2009 mm -hmm. i got invited to a fashion show in south africa yes, it was the Jennifer, arise africa yeah. fashion mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. it was I, I think it was arise and afi you know a mm -hmm. collaboration mm -hmm. first of its kind over 50 designers from all over the continent but it was a world-class show, as in the production mm -hmm. was tip-top. And for me, green-eyed, it was the first time mm -hmm. I'd ever experienced anything yeah. like that. So for me, it was it was my first like realization of, oh, there's, there's a bigger industry right, right. here. There's yes. a bigger thing to right. just even yeah. educate yourself right. on. So, and then I won an award for mm -hmm. Imagine Designer of the Year. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, there's something <laughs> here. But after that, every year, mm -hmm. to the glory of God, there's always been something that just made me realize that no this is next level right. and then there'll be That's there's right. the, right. you know then i went to paris for right. this expose that was big i thought that was big then there yeah. was beyonce <laughs> then i thought that was big. there's always these milestones you keep hitting these milestones, milestones and going and up I and think, up yeah, yeah i think it's great it's, yeah it's yeah. when you're you're walking in your purpose i believe right. you know god yeah. also aligns all these no absolutely ways, absolutely so. and i think what you do also i think it it, it, it when it comes from the heart also you know it's yeah. just I think you put a lot of heart and soul I in do. what you do, right? I do. Sometimes yeah. too much. That's yeah. where the perfectionism comes but, but, in. But, but that's that's. I think that's what makes the difference too, because there are a lot of design designers out there. I mean, you're obviously yeah. not the only one. Well, exactly. But, you know, so, so exactly. So, but what makes the difference between and and this is a question, right? Mm -mm. So, what's the difference between? you for example and some of the other designers Ooh. in the in the landscape? No, no. But honestly, yeah. you know. So, um, what do you think? There is. It's. You know, there, there should always be a why, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there should always be a why to what you do. So I'll give you an example. In as much as Christy Brown started as like my form of activism, let me show the world my Africa and my way we can do this on the continent. Mm -hmm. the, as, as I grew even into myself as a business owner, as a designer, and just being more aware of myself, I realized that it's actually a conduit. Mm -hmm. So Christy Brown mm. now has, it's, because I'm really passionate about mm -hmm. women's empowerment mm -hmm. and just women um, just exhibiting their whole magnificent selves mm -hmm. and not being held back. Mm -hmm. I'm super passionate about that. Mm -hmm. So even in designing, it's always at the back of my head that what will make her appear her best? Mm -hmm. And and she's already confident, but mm -hmm. what, what will enhance that confidence mm -hmm. to make her stand out and mm -hmm. stand in that boardroom or in any intimidating session, mm -hmm. like setting, and mm -hmm. feel as though, yes, I belong here. Like, I, own, I, I deserve mm -hmm. to be at this table. Mm -hmm. And so that is always at the back of my mind. It's really, how do we reassure this woman that mm -hmm. you've got this, mm -hmm. you know, you already mm -hmm. have it in you. Mm -hmm. But you know how there's a whole psychology behind even clothes. Yeah. When you feel good, have you noticed? Oh, absolutely. You step out confidently, absolutely. you're able to do more. It you changes talk to your people. mindset. It changes your entire mindset. Yeah, it so does. It's, it's that. So for mm -hmm. me, that why is so strong about like just, you know, reassuring that, well, 
what's the word? I, I keep saying empowering because that's the word. You know, it's empowering the woman. But I like to also think that she's already empowered. Yes. You know, sometimes you just right. need a yeah, few you, things exactly, to unearth it. Exactly. So, but it's that I really need women to feel more confident mm -hmm. to just you know step out in the world and just do their best. Yes. Yeah. Right. So that's why we exist, and I think that because that's the ethos behind the brand, mm -hmm. collection after collection, it's addressing that. Mm -hmm. That never gets old, and mm -hmm. it's so authentic to us as a brand. It's mm -hmm. it's really embedded in who we are. So it's not we don't, you know, we're not faking the funk. Mm -hmm. We're not just designing. I'm, well, I'm not myself and and my team. We're not just designing mm -hmm. just pretty clothes. Right. There's, there's always there's a, there's a, a psychology. So I think completely. so that makes a difference. You think? I think so. I, I think, think it's yeah. yeah it's just because it's you know there's, right, there's a, because, a great yeah, why to what we do exactly. Yeah. So I think it's it's being really focused and knowing where you want to go and also yes. trying to understand what your customer wants what and why, customer. why you're doing why what you're, you're doing. Why are you doing what you're doing and yeah. what difference can you bring to this landscape of mm -hmm. thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of designers? Mm -hmm. What will make you stand out? What will make you different? Mm -hmm. And just staying true to that. Staying right, true to right. your aesthetic as a brand. Yes, times will evolve. You will evolve a little right, with your woman. Absolutely. But over time, you also get to understand mm -hmm. your, your customer. And she speaks all the time. Whether she's speaking or not, you can see it in your numbers. <laughs> right. You know what she's yeah, saying. Yeah. And then you also, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, you know evolve and, and, and yeah. w with the times. So I feel like you, you, I think it's the, the psychology behind it and the fact that you, you probably studied a little bit more the psyche, the of, the psyche woman, of the woman and trying to understand what they yeah. want. And, and that's I'm why. interested in that. Right, right. You right. know, so I always say different brands or different designers design differently. Mm -hmm. Some might, might take from elements. Mm -hmm. For me, the starting point is always the woman. How is yeah. she feeling? What's right. happening in the world? Okay, right. there's a pandemic. How, she must be feeling this way right yeah. now. So then what would she want to wear yeah. to right. go through this period? Right. You know, so it's, right. it's, it's those questions. Very good. So what are some of the key lessons that you've learned throughout your journey? I'm not going to ask mm. you to talk about all the key lessons, but give me at least I'm, you know two or, three, of, two or three. Two or three. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll mention one that just it popped up because there was some incident, and I, I realized that you know there's something about humanity mm. or staying oh. grounded. Oh my goodness! Especially when things I like this are, one, <laughs> right? Yes, because it's so and, important. And especially when things seem like they're popping off, like mm -hmm. there's so much happening, or oh, everybody's talking about you mm -hmm. in, in any field, it's not yes, just even absolutely. in design. When it feels like ah. Oh, You've arrived. Mm -hmm. That's when I think that's the that's the key moment to even check yourself and Isn't stay that grounded. Isn't what Denzel Denzel Washington said last time? When I, the when you're up there, the devil gets to you, or what was it? What was it? Something like that. You know yes, about when, the famous yes, uh, the slap. The <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 so true, and it's it's where it's where you need to actually check yourself because it's easy to Absolutely. start thinking, Absolutely. oh yes, you've arrived. But imagine, like you remember, I said that at every stage there was always something that made me mm. see that oh. Oh, we're in the big leagues now. Yes. So imagine the first time if I, I if thought, ah, I've I'm arrived. already there. I don't yeah. have anything else to learn. Yeah. You know? But when we do that, when we, if we don't check ourselves, our ego, um, it's, it's, it stops us from learning more. So I think that's one lesson. And growing. And growing. And, and growing. You become stagnant and then, you know, you mm -hmm. just fall off. Exactly. Eventually and become obsolete. Exactly. So that's one lesson mm -hmm. that I, I've learned and I plan on holding on to it forever. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's the best lesson. Listen, it because is, I, I, is. I think, that, I know that Christy Brown will chop even greater successes, right? Mm -hmm. So let's not, let's not cut it short now right. with our ego and, and um, not staying grounded. Just, mm -hmm. you know, focusing on mm -hmm. what's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's just one lesson. That's one. But, <laughs> you know, that lesson is the biggest. Well, <laughs> Once you're learning and you keep evolving, you <laughs> you you'll learn other lessons. You'll learn other lessons, <laughs> and it'll take you. It's, it'll take you okay. far. Why do I feel like you're you're not <laughs> okay? Okay, I'll let go. I let go. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So, where yeah. do you see Christy Brown at twenty? Because you know 20. you're fourteen. We're fourteen now. And then so let's just say we're fifteen. Exactly. Oh yes, we're fourteen yeah. now. So twenty. In about five years. Yeah. Um, the sky is the limit, right? The sky is the limit, really. But I think that. We, we would have entrenched that position mm -hmm. on the continent mm -hmm. like even further, right? Mm -hmm. In certain key African mm -hmm. cities. Mm -hmm. And then our global standing mm -hmm. will be, again, even now people say, oh, but Chrissy Brown, you're, you're global. But, but in essence, we mm -hmm. need like a wider reach, you yeah. know? So I think we'll be more accessible mm -hmm. globally. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain key retailers that we want to be aligned with. So in five yeah. years, it should be a, you know, a thriving relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, our e-commerce mm -hmm. um, 
yeah, would, that's the you future, know, no? It is the future, you know, it is the future. So that, that whole operation, of course, will be even more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that by that time, you know, trading intercontinentally, right. like on the continent will be so much easier. easier. Yes. Because now it's easier to send something to Hong Kong than, than it is than to, it, to Senegal, right? I'm telling you. And, and that's <laughs> and one cheaper too and sometimes. Cheaper, and that's very frustrating. Yeah. Even the payment methods and Absolutely. so on. But I like to see that there's so many of these companies starting up, either in fintech or, yeah. in a, you know, that are solving this problem. Right. So, yes, Absolutely. In, in that case, it's just... Yeah, because that, that is a big issue. More numbers the, for us. <laughs> yeah, because, the you know, the, the commerce is, is, is really, like you said, the trade between countries trade in Africa is an, is an on issue. On the continent, yeah. It's a big yes, issue. Yes, if we so. can really get ahead of that, yeah. we'll be, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. two but steps I, ahead. I mean, with AFTA and, and, and organizations like that, actually dedicated to that. I know that it will happen. So in, in five years, I'm imagining what the impact that would have on our business mm -hmm. and other businesses like ours. Absolutely, on the absolutely. Yeah. So your latest collection, yeah. Exhale. I like that. I know. It reminds me of Waiting to Exhale. <laughs> yes. Were you too young Just when that movie oh, came no, out? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> I said, listen, I watched that movie. It was how okay. young I was. But you, like, you were, and you I were too it, young. You and probably, I understood it. Did you understand it? Okay, you did. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Because I remember, <laughs> even for me, it was kind of like... Uh, no. I, my mother's daughter, like, we even had discussions about, about that. I was raised by yeah, a, very, yeah. a very strong woman. <laughs> so it has just come out, mm -hmm. and some of the pieces literally sold out. I'm yeah. saying this because I know. Yeah. In, and this is from Exhale, actually. <laughs> Absolutely this jacket, beautiful. Yeah, one of my favorites. So it's, it sold out in a matter of minutes. Mm, yeah. So... <laughs> No, this I'm asking for for your for our viewers because they will ask because yeah. they'll go and they'll try go to purchase and say, it and no, it's but not, not available. everything is sold out, so they should right. still go That's true. and follow. That's true. But so the question but why is, yeah. why so much? What, what's the the issue with um, scarce pieces, or do you say yeah. scarce, scarce or scarce? I, I mean, potatoes, potatoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, people think it's, it's deliberate, mm -hmm. right? But it's not. It's it. Listen, the product is that hot. <laughs> <laughs> And it is. It, it, no, it, it is. is that hard. Yeah. And um, and there, listen. I think women have come to understand that there's almost like a like a rush for the Christy mm -hmm. Brown pieces. So as exactly. soon as the collection drops, you know, people set their alarms and they're like, "Let me grab my pieces." I'm, I'm one of those, but, but I wasn't quick enough this time. <laughs> this Next time, time I won't be no, caught. No, don't don't be caught slipping. Mm -hmm. But another thing is also just our capacity mm -hmm. as a brand and right. that we're working on. So mm -hmm. that's also something that in the next five years we shouldn't right. really have that issue because it's just we're increasing our production capacities mm -hmm. to, to, mm -hmm. um, to also affect mm -hmm. our volume. And is I that mean, is that an, that's an issue for a lot of designers? It is an issue for designers. I mean, to be honest, I have to say that we are quite blessed. We, we employ about 70 plus staff. So mm -hmm. it's... it's Quite a medium-sized mm -hmm. well, business, absolutely. but it's still not enough, right? right? Because again, it's a healthy business, a thriving business. The mm -hmm. demand is there, mm -hmm. so so we're working on that infrastructure to be able to match like what's going. I mean, hopefully, even when we do match it, there'll still be right. the, the high demand for it. But we should ease that frustration a bit because you should be able to find. Um, the product that you love when you you come to our sites mm -hmm. we're also increasing our product offering mm -hmm. so you'd mm -hmm. have you know just different types of pieces also yes because you have another line you also have another line that you started not too long I, ago I right i know my baby yes exactly <laughs> christie's um yeah, christie's. So, but but that's to be fair mm -hmm. is is you know we've packed it for now mm -hmm. but we'll revisit it because it's, it's again it's a thing of of, mm -hmm. of the volumes and just figuring out the logistics around this and yes. cost of production that's the thing so so our focus is really main brand Christy mm -hmm. Brown now mm -hmm. and just how do we increase our, our, uh, our volumes right. but then also not compromise on the quality. So it's, it's something that we're working on but now. But why, why is that an issue with a lot of designers? Because of course we don't have the industrial capacity yes. to yes. produce as much as, you know, China. Yes. Or, <laughs> or, yes. or even Turkey or, or there's so many other yeah, places that do it. So what, what, we don't what is the issue? We don't necessarily have a manufacturing culture on the right. continent okay. but it's starting like it's it's starting mm -hmm. and you you do have large factories mm -hmm. but a lot of them are uh, a lot of them cater to like uniforms and, and certain right. kinds of pieces right. so i think the next the next stage or mm -hmm. next wave is factories that can actually produce fashion garments mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And that would also incentivize more brands to produce on the continent. Mm -hmm. But but it's happening, you know. I, mm -hmm. I I see that happening as well. I, I have a bit of a sixth sense yeah, when it comes to these yeah. things. So that's that's where it's going next. Mm -hmm. So it, it, okay. it's, we can resolve it. And yeah. then lots of training, mm -hmm. lots of support from our government in different countries as well right. to just get over this cast because fashion is a big business. It's a, it's a big industry. Huge. And it has to be taken seriously on the continent. Huge. Yes, because Huge. We especially can't sleep black on women, it. African women, we're all Absolutely. into fashion, yes, hair, beauty. Yeah. All of it. It's a yeah. huge, it's, it's a, a billion huge, dollar industry. Yeah. In, it's a billion in, dollar industry. And, and there's so much inspiration. We have so much to offer as a continent, right? Absolutely. So it's not even just, even amongst ourselves mm -hmm. on the continent, fine. But even just internationally, right? right? So we need to be able to compete on that global scale. Absolutely. And, yeah. We're almost we're getting, getting to the end. Almost. Last question. <laughs> <laughs> so you recently spoke to former first lady oh, yeah. and secretary of state Hillary Clinton. Right. And uh, about some of your leadership aspirations. Yeah. So how did that conversation go and where, what, what are your leadership aspirations? You know, I almost forgot that conversation will be, <laughs> will be publicized or, or put out there because it's, it's my personal like passion and dream. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see more women in leadership. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're having a lot more women CEOs and mm -hmm. so on, but for me specifically in governance. Mm -hmm. You know, because where the decisions are actually made, right. you know, where, that impacts where policies, populations. Exactly. So if we want to even move the needle on our mm -hmm. role as women in society and just um, and, and, and bridge that gap of equality, it's important that we, we are actually at that decision making table and where the policies are made. And for me, it frustrates me that mm -hmm. we don't have enough women going into politics. I get it. That there's, you know, mm. they're nervous or they're, mm. you know, the insults or whatever. Mm. Everybody mm. says politics mm. is a, diff is a, you know, dirty mm. game. Mm. But who's gonna do it? Mm. But if we, you know, if we don't step up, so my my dream mm -hmm. is to have an institute of sorts, and mm -hmm. and it's, it's, you know, it's we're working on the, course, the paper for it. Of course, an institute that grooms. Mm -hmm. um, women for roles in, in, in governance. governance. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's good. That's, that's your message your for doors. young women. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It's, it because, you, because you know, we, we try to talk to our youth a lot because, mm -hmm. you know, things are, mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy on yeah. the ground. Yeah. And, and yeah. we understand that. But the thing is, there are opportunities. There are. If you want them, you just need to go and get yeah. them. Maybe sometimes there's just a bit of, you just need a bit of um, training, mm -hmm. um, just understanding mm -hmm. of of policies and how it works, mm -hmm. but but once the passion is there, because Absolutely. you know, and we want a certain kind of a certain crop of leaders on the continent. Mm -hmm. the, the women in polit in politics and governance already are doing an amazing job. We need more. We, we need, need more. more. Yes, no, we, we need, need more. more. We don't have the we passion. don't have the quotas yet. Yes, we, we don't, don't have the it's quotas. Not, the numbers not, are not yes, high yes, enough. Yeah, it's not high. Enough. Like you said, to move it's the needle, we, because yes. that's the thing. It's, 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 it's and so like you said, whatever they need, you know, I'm I'm so committed to setting this up to to help, help equip these mm -hmm. girls, or even yeah. it could be women, right? But it's that thing of once the passion is there for your countries and to see Africa as a right, continent, right? right. You know, let's, let's do it. Let's, what, what do we need to do? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and I like the fact that it's in governance because yes. it's, that's, yes, that's what will really what separate it from other, you know, because yes. there are a lot of people doing things for youth women's, and, yes, you know, training, and, and, yeah. and training. But I think governance no. is it's a whole yeah. nother, especially in Africa policy. too, but we Africa is a to. difficult, it is. I know. Politics is difficult. It is. I, I, and I'm sure it <laughs> there is. Politics and politics. If no one does it, <laughs> no, you're if right. Women you're if right. Send, if women you're don't right. step up, like yes, and, and you'll be amazed. And we, and we need to, to change things act, uh, also listen. because I think if women there were more women, things would be a little bit different. I'm because you know the whole you. thing you were saying about the ego. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Listen, you you, no, you get what I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and no, no, let's letting that get in the uh -huh, way, and right. it's, it's that. So. Yeah. That's 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 my dream. Yeah, that's my dream. I love the dream. Yeah, I love the. I'd I'll, love I'll the join the dream, is. please. Yes, yes, because I think I think like, it takes know. a village. It does too, it and it so does and then you know across the border, right? Exactly. So how do you exactly. find Ivory Coast so far? I am in love with Ivory Coast. <laughs> I was telling you earlier. Yes. I want to spend more time yeah. here. The yeah. architecture, the lots yeah. of greens. Yeah. It just feel. I love it. I love it, and and there's a pulse to 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 Ivory Coast that I. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah. yeah, I think I want to be visiting a lot more often. So <laughs> if good. you guys will have me. Oh, of course, yeah. always. Come on. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so we yeah. we let's get to the gifts. 
so you know we do we try to promote our local entrepreneurs oh, lovely, lovely. so um, they give gifts to our oh, guests so nice. this is from a lady Bees. who does yes she does jewelry can I open oh, of course oh, yeah. yes oh, that's lovely. the whole point so that's, she does jewelry oh, good and I, I want to post this on my page oh of course well. of course of course oh of this course. is nice I really like earrings I, you know? <laughs> I won't say oh, I but love. I kind of know oh. I have the same, by the way. I love Aren't they it. Lovely? They, they're just. Gorgeous. I figured you would like these no, no, because no, no. This is, you know oh, thanks, you know how we, we share we share this love of yeah, earrings. <laughs> so this gift is from Le Creations, Le Creation. Le Le Creation. Oh, I love so that. It's, yeah, so it's a lady. Oh, she's um, I mean. she does oh, she does accessory Ooh, fashion accessories. I've seen these. But oh, 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 you wanted one of these? I, yes. <laughs> So they're oh, made gosh, of the listen, cocoa packaging, you know, the bag. Have me. Let, let me come every time. Can I come to the show again? <laughs> yes, you can. You can. Oh, you can. We'll yes, from the, you. from the cocoa sacks. Yes, yes exactly. Yes. So it's made locally and oh, it's, you know, you it's, so always, it's always it's uh, always a beautiful gift. And there's a little mm. bag inside. A inside little, of it as well. Mm -hmm, a little. Uh, oh, yes. yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I feel the, so spoiled. Yeah, like, I, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah. This is lovely. And I love the color. Yeah. Oh, I have a new laptop colors. bag. Yes, th there you go. <laughs> From Ivory Coast. From Ivory Coast. And this is, so this is a lady who also does, care. she does skincare. Ooh, Look I at this packaging, box, right? Yeah. Okay. And Lewis. this is all made here. Yes, Louis. Uh -huh. Wow, wow. And so wow. she does um, oh, with wow. love. Yeah. Thought, no, this is right? top notch. Okay, And you Thank see, you. that's the beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is done here mm -hmm. in Abidjan yes. on the continent. On the continent. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing stopping it, really. This is what I'm saying. We just, it, I think like you said, it's the passion, yeah. the dedication. The dedication and to excellence exactly. as well. You know? uh, so yes. That, yes. And this is, see, this is, this is, yes, for me, this, this is. This is much. Okay. The, Ooh, okay. This is, this is, <laughs> I, I'm going to delve soon, yeah, but I yeah. love and this, smells, the packaging. And it smells very, very good. Mm, and oil. it's very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what, Louis, let me save it. But yes, and you know, it's important that we also support our own. Ah. Yes. Ah. It's, it's, it because is. people put so much effort into their brand. And Absolutely. It's a shame that, oh, do we need that. to wait for, you know, the West to accept the brand before we love it. Yes. No, let's, no. let's, let's, let's support exactly. our own. Exactly. Yeah. Let's support our own yeah. and promote our own. And promote our own. Yes. Because, you know, no one will do it for you. No. <laughs> So Aisha, thank, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I had thank so you. much fun yes. just chatting. Yes. Um, and then all these <laughs> gifts, I'm really, really grateful. Thank you. You're for, welcome. You're for welcome. Everything. Thank you. And thank you for coming to the show. And thank, thank you, you for talk, sharing your experience. Because I think that's what it's all about. It's all well. about, yes. It's about yes. sharing, it's you know, sharing transmitting. And seeing that it's possible. It's exactly. You know, Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe to our Afrique Femme YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.